Lucas is IFL TV in Dusseldorf here. Get up a JT, Doc, huh? With me, I got Clifton Mitchell eating banana. Yes. Raw yes. from Germany. Yes. Animal, you're an animal. I see you eat Turkish food yesterday. I fucked it up, then. Sorry, language. That's swear. That's swear. <laughs> Sorry. You banks won't like it, would he? Certainly not. Um, funny place to hold a workout, isn't it? We're in the middle of an airport. I tell you what, it's the first one. I've, uh, first time I've ever actually been to a workout in an airport. Usually have business meetings here, not workouts. Oh, business <laughs> meetings. <laughs> yeah. but it's weird, isn't it? Because yeah. you're not actually going through anywhere, but I've had to be searched. You know, the bag search, the I camera think, I search. I think with the state of the, um, the the alert on these bombs and these um, ISIS and all that, I think it's the best thing that can happen that, you know, everybody's queuing up to get in everywhere and you know what, I'd rather, I'd rather them be over-cautious than under-cautious. Okay, fair enough. Uh, three days away. I'm, I'm buzzing, can't wait. Can't wait, absolutely can't wait. I think, um, I think, out of 100% of people, probably about 10% of people are actually gonna believe that he can do it. 90% think, oh yeah, I might give him a half, half decent fight, but I believe he's got. I believe he's just got his number. I might be wrong. I might be right. We'll see. Do you get the feeling as well that something extraordinary will happen Saturday? I think, I think, something I think, strange. I, I think there could be something. I don't know what it is, but. I've got this feeling, like you said to us yesterday, and, and, and I was getting the same kind of vibe that something can happen. Something's going to happen. I don't know what it is, but something's going to happen. We're going to shock the world. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we'll see, we'll see, um, we'll see in it. And when, when he pulls it off, everybody's going to have to eat a lot of humble pie or he's going to have egg on his face, like he keeps saying. But you know what? Egg in your face after a few hundred, a few, few, few millions, not bad, is it? <laughs> Just give me a summary of how this week's been so far since you got here, Chris. Um, got here, uh, everything, everybody's been hospitable, everything's been really, really nice. Uh, the camp's been really calm, tranquil. Um, there's no, there's no, Tyson is taking it all in his stride, to be fair. Most people would think that. Most people think that he'd been nervous at this occasion, but he's a different individual. Really is. I haven't seen anybody. I mean, I was at the David A fight when he was here. David A looked nervous and twitchy and up for it. And I've not seen none of that in Tyson, none whatsoever. I just believe he believes it. It's his destiny. So you know, it's a, what's worst going to happen. It's him doing what I do. I, I box. I box all my life. I'm going to get in the ring and box a kid with a pair of boxing gloves. I'm not going to fly a plane, am I? You know? So you know, I find it. He's going to do I find it so right here he's, he's, got it, he's got it, he's got it right in his head. For me, he's got it right. He hasn't, he hasn't make it, yeah, it's the biggest fight Fury. in the world, you know? Regarding, regarding sports, you don't get a much bigger pinnacle than the heavyweight championship of the world. Yeah. yeah. Ah, this is your team role. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's fucking rapping today. Thank you, Clifton. Cheers, man.